Hey folks! Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to invert the colors of an image. It is really a simple task. I am going to write this program in CUDA and C++. GPU processing will speed up the task. First of all, we will create a new CUDA project in Visual Studio. I don't need this pre-written code. So, I will remove it. Now, I will add a .c++ file and .h file to our project. In C++ file I will write my main program. Header file will connect the GPU processing code with CPU code. We will import our required libraries. Most importantly, we will change the configuration of the project to release and 64-bit system. Then we will add OpenCV libraries in our project. We will use this just to read and save the image. For the processing we will write our own code. Now, to write our code, we will read an image first. We can print out the height, width, and the channels of our image.
Then, we will pass our image to the GPU function. And then just save the image after processing. We will also pause our program, so that it won't close when it executes everything. In the header file, we will define the linking function, which can be called from the main file, and it can execute in the CUDA kernel. In this function we will take image, height, width, and the number of channels. Now, we will write our CUDA code for image inversion. First, we will define our GPU variable. Then, we will allocate the memory for this variable. In our case, we need the memory equal to our input image. Then, we will transfer the CPU data to GPU. We will define our parallel processing grid equal to the size of our image. Then, we will call the image inversion GPU function for processing, which we will write in a while. Then after processing, we will copy the process data back to CPU and free the GPU memory.
In order to write a GPU function, first we will define the function on the top. Then, we will write the inversion function. In this, simply we need to subtract the current pixel value from the maximum value. That is 255. In case of colored image, we need to do it for all channels. We are designing this code that it can work for both color and grayscale image. Okay, now we are done writing our code. We will build our program, run it for testing. As you can see, it built successfully. Now, we will run our program, and use a test image for that. And here is our result as you can see. The image colors are inverted. Thanks for watching. Please, like, share, and subscribe. Cheers.